Well, we're getting ready to uh, test fire my uh, Reese 80 watt tube I just got today for my uh, uh, laser build. And uh, I'm a little distracted now because I'm using my crappy camera here. And uh, because my good camera here, for some reason, battery won't charge on it. So, hopefully this video will be um, viewable. Uh, this is the original packaging this uh, tube came in. came in a box that's over there on the garage floor. And uh, this is a DY, DY something power supply, I forget now. A DY10 power supply I got from China. cost me a little under 200 Got it all wired up here. There's a pot on here. And I got a milliamp meter set up. That all wired up. Got the high voltage lead wired up over there. And uh, all I got to do is uh, plug the power supply in after I set up the uh, cooling. C cooling is on the uh, floor behind the table here. Right here, got a bucket of water. That's good enough for, for an 80 watt tube. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, firing this thing off uh, for any length of period of time. Probably just a second or two, just to make sure it works. So you got a bucket of water. I got a Harbor Freight pump in there. Uh, that's about it. I'm just going to plug the pump in over here. Get it going. I can do this one-handed, which I probably can't. So I'm going to stop the video. Okay, I'm back, and uh, pump's running. You can see uh, water re being returned. And I gotta tell you, you really can't see the water flowing through this tube at all. I know it's flowing through there because obviously uh, I got water coming back, but uh, it's really hard to see, so I'm gonna need something to detect the water flow. So let's see if we can fire this puppy off here. Uh, I'm going to put this board up here, fire into. i got a lot of junk here. I've been building my uh, chassis, which is over there behind that tripod. A lot of junk on the table here, but uh, the laser <coughs> should clear and hit the plywood. Uh, just have to plug the power supply in. And i got a wire here, which becomes my switch, and that will fire the laser off, hopefully. Once again, if I get the camera I'm working with this camera, I'm working with one hand, no tripod. Let's see if I can plug this in without killing myself here. There you go. Okay. Alright. I got the pot set somewhere close to minimum. So uh, I don't draw a lot of current, but uh, let's see if it fires off. Oh, it does, for sure. It's got me milliamps, about 15 milliamps, about half power. Well, it works, so that's all I really want, <laughs> wanted to know, whether it works or not. Uh, by the way, the pump I got, uh, the water pump is uh, from Harbor Freight, I mentioned. Which one is this? This is item 68395. Seems to move enough water, but uh, in actual operation, when this tube goes into my chassis, which is standing up over here, next to the car in the garage here, standing on its end here. But when it goes into the chassis, uh, I'll have to use a chiller. Um, I'll use a chiller, uh, you know, uh, along with the uh, the bucket, the water, and the pump uh, to make sure that uh, I don't damage the tube. That's about it. I think I'll uh, I'm gonna try a little bit more current. Uh, wow, burn through the plywood. I just try a little bit more here. Let's see, uh, turn the pot up first. 
a little bit. And give it a shot. Oop. Around 15. This is a 20 turn pot, so make any difference. You've got to turn it a few, a few turns. There we go. Right at that's about max power right there. That's blinding. Wow. Alright. Well, I'll have to put the camera down, but the next step I think will be to um, I'll run the pot up to around 25 milliamps. I think 28 is the max. I'll run it up to 25 milliamps and stop here. And there's an adjustment on the side of the power supply, a little hole there, where you can um, tweak the power supply and limit it so that it won't go above that. So that if I turn this pot fully clockwise, the max I'm ever going to get out of this power supply is going to be. 25 milliamps or you know uh, it'll have high voltage but uh, I mean the current will be limited to 25 milliamps and that's about it by the way the tube is marked water inlet water outlet comes with no instructions but it does have some information on it um, when it was manufactured date of manufacture that kind of thing serial number very high quality tube. Very happy with the quality of the tube. Um, I'm using quarter inch hoses. Those are quarter inch silicone hoses. But I noticed because it's, the hose is so soft, I, I do, do notice a little kinking. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. We'll see. Uh, when I've got it in the cabinet, we'll see if uh, it's going to kink up on me anywhere. Uh, and that's about it. And like I said, there's water flowing through there right now, but it is impossible to see. I mean, really impossible to see. There's no bubbles, no nothing. So, uh, definitely going to have to have some sort of a flow sensor, along with the temperature meter, uh, to read the temperature back. Obviously, it's not going to generate a lot of heat, you know, uh, doing what I'm doing right now firing it off for a couple of seconds here and there. Can't help myself, guys. <laughs> wow. And staring at that dot when it's uh, firing off, uh, I can tell you, it's bright. It's very bright. The dot is very bright. The laser beam itself is invisible. Uh, but you can see it ionized in the tube here. And that's about it. I'm happy. It works. No hassles. Uh, I paid $600 for this tube from an outfit called VIP Lasers. Uh, and I paid $52 to have it shipped from Las Vegas. Unfortunately, he raised his price, I noticed, to $685 now plus shipping. So, I'm not so sure it's much of a deal anymore. It was before, but now it's comparable to what everyone else is charging, so I guess the guy has to make some money, but uh, luckily uh, I got a very good price. This was the first one he ever sold on eBay, so number one, and I'm it. I bought it. So, uh, he relisted the item. He's got a few more now up for sale, but uh, like I said, they're all six, 685 uh, plus shipping. And that's it. I'm going to close this off now.